Today we've got a product from ThinkPad. This is the Red Eye, and we are going to try and figure out, based on the packaging, what it does. So, okay, we got the top of the box. Apparently it provides you less clutter and more control. Okay, all right, all right, I can, I can dig it. Let's keep moving. So apparently it looks like this. It is made for iPod and works with iPhone. Okay, this is all true. It does work with both the iPod and the iPhone. Move around to this side, less clutter. Okay, we covered that already. Aha, here we go. You can turn your iPhone or iPod Touch into a remote control. Free application download required, so that's no big deal. You go on the App Store, you download their Red Eye app. Here's uh, the other side again. And yeah, okay, so yeah, we've turned, basically you turn your iPod or your iPhone into a universal remote. Let's get the box open and we'll talk a little bit about how this works. So this guy right here, this is a Wi-Fi to infrared bridge. It also serves as a charging base station for your iPad, iPhone, I, well yeah, obviously you can't plug an iPad into it, sorry, iPod or iPhone, so it sits like that. So if it sat on your coffee table, you might say for example, uh, plug your phone into it like this and then you wouldn't have to worry about it running out of battery while you're navigating channels, which is cool because I don't have the app installed yet, but I will be doing a video outlining how to use this guy, but uh, I've seen sort of how it works, and if you can use the multi-touch to, well, do that apparently, but you can use the multi-touch to scroll through channels or to increase the volume, decrease the volume. You can actually customize the layout of the universal remote on your touch screen uh, according to which devices you wanna use. So here, we've got a quick start guide. So apparently you need to plug in your Red Eye device, install the software, connect to the Red Eye device, and then set up the Red Eye device on your Wi-Fi network. Last but not least, you can start using your Red Eye system. Now it's actually expandable uh, by ad adding more Red Eyes or more iPhones. You can configure it so that you know this iPhone is controlling this room right now, and with that iPhone, now you want to control the living room, so that's pretty cool. And uh, cameraman can scan that while we see the important product information guide as well as the, uh, oh, there's a little support thing. How to get help with the product if you're having trouble. All right, let's find out what else we have inside. And uh, so yeah, basically it turns it into a universal remote for any of your infrared devices, that is your TV, your cable box, your DVD player, whatever else you happen to have. They have a huge library of, uh, of codes. Oh, neat, adapters, so I don't have to actually just leave my phone hanging there. They have a huge library of codes, but you can also actually use their little app to, uh, to learn new codes. So you can use your old remotes to program new codes into their app. So you've got a few different adapters depending on what kind of an eye device you're going to be plugging in. And then last but not least, you have power. So please do stay tuned to my Linus Tech Tips video blog where you will see how to use this. You can also see more unboxings, reviews, other technology videos like that. And thank you for watching. And if you do already have one of these, uh, you know, please feel free to leave a comment under the video. I do read them actually. And uh, let me know what you think of it and if there's any particular things that uh, that you've found work really well like say for example bringing it over to someone's house when you're having Christmas dinner and then kind of quietly using your uh, your iPhone you know install that in the corner and then like use your iPhone to like randomly change the channel when someone's trying to watch the football game or whatever so I didn't give you guys that idea though don't forget to subscribe so it's plugged in my phone is charging. Cameraman insisted that we do another video clip so that I could show you the power LED. And I guess this is also a good time to show you that I have installed the, uh, the adapter so that my phone is uh, supported. So it's not gonna just, when I'm pressing on it to change a channel or whatever, it's not gonna just put pressure on the connector. So uh, there you have it.